Now, with that as our background, let's come to this first chapter now, and I shall begin reading at verse 1. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. Now, this first sentence is also a literary gem. I remember when I was a student in college and I had to work to pay my way and also support my mother. And at that particular time, I had a job on the Memphis Commercial Appeal. And I went out one time with the police reporter and another one of the reporters And we went down into a a section of the town where there had been a murder. And we cub reporters were to write it up. And I never shall forget the city editor gave us quite a little talk when we got back. He says there are two things that you want to put in any story you write up, the time and the place. Those are important. And I've noticed that in the newspaper, and you watch this, you will always find they put the time and the place in any story that is there. And they'll get it generally in the first sentence. And sometimes the sentence is a paragraph long, but they always get those two things in. Now, it came to pass in the days when the judges rule. That is the time. Now, this little book is enacted on the background of the judges. And you remember that we saw last time when we concluded the book of Judges, it ended with, first of all, there was religious apostasy. Then there was moral awfulness. Then there was political anarchy. And the book of Judges closes, in those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Now, I think obviously that Boaz knew one of the judges. And this little book is a little book that comes from a period where you have gross immorality as seen in the life of Samson and revealed in these last few chapters of Judges. But it's a bright story, a bright brochure on a very dark background. And that's the way God writes. I've noticed in these freeway signs, when we first came to Pasadena in 1940, the first freeway, I guess, in the country was this Pasadena freeway. And the signs then were white background and the letters were black. I notice now that practically all those signs have disappeared. And you know, they've changed writing They have a black background today, and the letters are in light. That's the way God writes. On the black background of sin, God writes the bright story of salvation. And on the black background of the days of the judges, sinful days, when every man did that which was right in his own eyes, and you have Romans 1, 2, and 3 set before us in those days. Here is a lovely story, a beautiful story, a sweet story. What a wonderful thing. And it reveals the fact that any young person who wants to live for God, you can live for God if you want to. Now, I want you to notice what he says here. It was in the time of the judges, and there was a famine in the land. Now, famines, this is one of 13 famines mentioned in the Old Testament, and they always come during a time of judgment. So these were not only dark days, but it was the darkest of the dark days. It was when that old hoop of history had gone down and the judgment of God was upon the land. Now we're told, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. Now he lived in Bethlehem, Judah. Now it's very important in many places in the Bible I'm not sure of what all places in the Old Testament to look up the meaning of names. Now, Bethlehem means house of bread. Judah means praise. Now, here is a man and his family that lived in the house of bread and praise. That's a wonderful place to be, is it not? 
but he went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. Now, why did they do that? Well, it was a famine, and he couldn't trust the Lord, so he went over to the land of Moab. Now, there's a very interesting thing said about Moab in Psalm 108, 9. God says, Moab is my wash pot. Let me change that a little. God says, Moab is my garbage can. Now, here is a man and his family that left the house of bread and praise and went over to eat out of a garbage can. Did you ever hear that story before? Well, I'm sure you have. It's the story our Lord told about the prodigal son. And he left the father's house, and he went over and finally was eaten with the pigs. That's what happened to this family here. They are a prodigal family, not just a prodigal son. And there have been prodigal individuals, prodigal families, prodigal churches, prodigal nations. These are the ones that you have. And here you have a prodigal family. Now, I want to say this. They're going to get their whipping in the far country. I don't care who it is, whether it's a prodigal son or prodigal daughter or prodigal family. They get their whipping in the far country. When they come home, there's no whipping. When a child of God will come back to God, he'll always receive them. He won't whip them, but he sure sees they get disciplined in the